from one IGTV post, you actually need three dimensions. What up, everyone? It's Ray here from Simply Create uh, with this tutorial. I think it's going to be really helpful for anybody producing content on IGTV or Instagram. So there's three things that I think are really helpful with a tutorial. One is let's do it quickly. Then why we're doing it, and then we go step by step through the how we're doing it. So the quickly is, and I've made it really quick. Just head to the description below, download the PNG file. And that you can use that as an overlay, as a template, if you use any video editing software, but in particular, Adobe Premiere Pro. All you need to do is drop the file in, um, drop some footage in, whatever footage that you're using, it doesn't really matter what. Drag the file as an overlay uh, on top um, of your file, so it's underneath. Drag it all the way to the end of your timeline. You'll be able to see what's in the orange area is your post. The blue area will be in the feed and the top area will be Instagram TV. But for those of you sticking around, I'm going to talk about why it's going to really up your IGTV game, going to make your posts look and also save you time and make your profile look on point. And lastly, will be the how. We'll take you step by step through the process of how to do that on Adobe Premiere Pro. But if you haven't got time to stick around, all the links to the chapters are below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Catch you soon. But for those of you sticking around, Thank you. Let's talk about why this is really going to help you on Instagram. Why have I made this tutorial? Well, the first thing is I failed, but I'm happy to fail because I then tried to work out what it is I needed to do to make it right. Couldn't quite find what I wanted. And so thought that's the perfect opportunity to help you out. As we know, Instagram is turning into a beast. New functions and features are more and more users all the time. They've recently put out a feature that has been for Instagram TV. You can now post this to a feed, so you can toggle across and say, post to feed. From one IGTV post, you actually need three dimensions. So as you can see from this image, there's three different aspect ratios and dimensions you need to be aware of when you're posting from IGTV. First one is the IGTV full screen ratio, which is 1080 to 1920. Okay, and that aspect ratio is nine by 16. Then you've got the next one, which is in feed. So once you've posted it, and it says, do you want to post this to your Instagram feed? And you press the toggle, yes. It goes in there, but the aspect ratio and the dimensions change again. The width remains the same, the 1080, but the height changes to 1,350, okay? Uh, pixels, obviously. And that aspect ratio is four to five. And lastly, we have 1080, by 1080, which is one for one aspect ratio. So in one post, you are actually posting in three different dimensions and you need to be aware of this to get all those dimensions clean for your video. So it's saving you a little bit of time and a little bit of effort because when you produce your IGTV video, you'll post it once, but it will look great in the profile, in the feed and on IGTV. Now we're gonna head into Adobe Premiere Pro. How do you know that that works when you do the Oh, okay. So all I'm gonna do, first of all, is go to the bottom here, uh, new item, and I'm going to, first of all, pick um, color mat. Now this is, the, this is what you need to do twice. So once you pick color mat, the first thing you need to do is make the width and the height right. For the preview pane, it is width 1080, that's not gonna change, but this comes down to 350, 1350, okay? Change that 1350, press okay, pick your color, uh, I made it the blue, um, call it IGTV preview feed and call it, uh, well, call it whatever you want, but that's what I'm going to call it for now. Um, I'm going to layer that over the top. I'm then going to click on that layer and I'm just going to change the opacity. So you take the timer off, uh, change the whole thing to 50% so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. So again, new color map. This I'm going to make 1080 by 1080. Um, I'm going to pick the color. Uh, I'm going to call this um, IG um, profile image. And again, I'm going to layer that on top of that. And again, so I can see it, I'll change the opacity. So just so you know, toggle animation, 
change that to 50, press enter, and there you go. And there are your guides, again, so simple as that. If you haven't downloaded the IGTV template guide, that's it. So whatever appears in the orange space here will, will look great on your Instagram profile picture image. Whatever appears within the entire blue box, so if I remove the orange, in any of this box, when you post it and it goes into the feed preview, so the one minute preview that everyone can see before they tap on watch the full IGTV version, anything that's in the blue space will be correct and look great. And then again, if I just wanna see what will look great on the entire IGTV full image, um, if I take both of those off. So this is so that you post once and you get it all right. And that's it, let's go back. Oh, that's the end of this IGTV tutorial. Now when you post, everything should be aligned just right to make your life easier. I know it's gonna help me. And if there's anything you want me to go back over or make a tutorial on, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Uh, there's plenty more to come. I'll see you around. Until next time, we Audi. Did it work? Boom, 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 boom.